Hello and welcome to this episode of Demystifying DAX with me, James, from Matador Software. Today we've got a sort of inventory or supply chain example where we'll be looking at an inventory item, the date that it entered our stock, and from there we're going to use Power Query and DAX to calculate its age and also assign a calculated column with an action based on the age. So if you follow along with me, you can see it's very easy to calculate the age of an item based on the date that it enters stock using the Power Query guided user interface. Now there's advantages of doing this within Power Query, especially if we were working with very large data sets. This is calculated upon refresh and therefore it becomes more efficient for our data model. We could also calculate the age within DAX by using the year frac function. And what I've done is I've wrapped this within an integer function so that we get, we return a whole number. Um, and this would work, or on the face of it, it works. However, there are some issues with rounding if we do it this way. And I believe this is down to not taking account of leap years uh, and some issues in the way that this is calculated, even though year fraction should be slightly more accurate than the traditional date difference within DAX. I know there's a quotient function we can use that, that may be even more accurate within DAX, but I would suggest that we stick to Power Query when and where we can. So now that we have the age column present within our table, we can go ahead and use DAX calculated columns. And in order to do this most efficiently, we would use switch statements. We could use if or nested if statements, but this is more convoluted than simply using switch statements within DAX. So what we're going to do, we're going to assume that any product with an aging over five years equal or over five years needs to go we can set a reminder for products that are four years of age that we need to do something with them soon and anything else we don't need any action required so this is a great way of dynamically assigning actions uh, and again making more data-driven decisions from our existing data set Lastly, if we want to power up things a little bit more, we can assign some icons to our redundant stock or stock that we need to action soon. I'm aware that there isn't stock with, with four years in our data set, but we would assume that these, these sort of supply chain data sets could be something like 50 to 100,000 rows eventually. So there would be in, in, in a normal use case. As usual, if you like this content or find it helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.